Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya Psychic Crafts Guys. Today is day one of our Gratitude Index box. We've already got the cover done. Of course, I did that in September. Let's go ahead and get day one. Oh, this being November 1st. I am so, so grateful for each and every one of you. Before I even start to let you know, I just want you to know that. I am so grateful that you are here and I hope that you have liked and subscribed to the channel and that you will consider doing so if you haven't already. You guys, we're just going to be using some scraps from my fall crafting for some of these cards because they're here and they're beautiful. And it's just a reminder of some of the things that I've been working on this season. So a lot of times we will be using those scraps and you can do the same if you're making something similar or, you know, working in a craft journal or an art journal or even in just a writing journal. If you are crafting with things, it's kind of a good fun reminder of what you are making or, you know, just some of the things you were working with. Maybe you're working with some favorite tools or what have you. It's just a fun reminder. So I am going to be adding this piece today. This is um, a, piece, a scrap that I was using when I was making cards, card bases. And I really, really love these. I was gonna cut one of these, but I thought, no, I'll just use one of the scraps because that makes more sense. I don't have to cut it up, but isn't that gorgeous? I just love how it goes with that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and scooch it. I don't wanna go all the way to the edge because I still need to distress. But we'll go there. I was thinking about putting some of this music paper behind here, but I don't think I don't think I'm going to after all. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down because I know that that's going there. We are also going to be cutting a pumpkin from some scrap paper I was also using to go with this because I made some fall cards using exactly that. I used this die with this cute little pumpkin on it. Oops, that's gonna pop off, I just know it. Um, so we're gonna cut this out. Let's see, what's the best color I could cut this out with? No, obviously not that one. Let's use, I don't wanna go too, too bright, but I don't wanna go too dark either. Let's go with, oh, I've gotta have a scrap here that's gonna be work, that's gonna work. Something, 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 something. I was using pink. I was making pink pumpkins because I have all that paper. But I don't think I want a pink, pink pumpkin. Maybe this color. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This color would go nicely on there. But then I'm thinking I need some leaves to... Oh, I think the leaves I was using for those cards was something else. They were. Okay, but I think I still have that die nearby too. Okay, that's good. That's okay. That's the perfect. We're going to use the little sidekick here to make this happen. So let's cut this. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you are enjoying the start of the season. Or for me, it's mid-season. It feels like because I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> I enjoy this, this, the fall so much. It's so, this to go this way. It is my favorite. So you'll see me every year crafting, crafting, crafting for fall. And Christmas, I do Christmas too, but honestly, I think I do more fall than Christmas. I think I just get so busy during the Christmas season. It's by, by the time it's Christmas, I'm, I'm done. I'm cropped that out. But I do love it. I do, do, do. Okay. I think by the time Christmas comes, we should be we should be finished with Christmas, right? All right. Isn't that? There we go. So we've got that part. Actually, this paper turned out better than the one the paper that I used on the the last time because this one didn't tear those holes out. It um. I'm trying to be cautious because I don't want to take that stem off, but I also don't, well, I, I guess I need one anyway, one stem that I think I'm going to do from brown paper instead of this paper. 
I did it with the pink before and colored the paper, but I think I should probably just cut it out of brown. Let's do that instead. We'll just kind of hang it off the edge. Because I want two of those. Maybe I only want one. I think I only want one this time. We'll make our pumpkin a little bit smaller. It doesn't have to be ginormous. But we always want the biggest pumpkin, don't we? something else. I can use this for the stem. Actually, no, that's too dark and that's what I'm going to use my numbers for. Let's use this one. This is the same color I used for the base of that other that other piece. So that'll coordinate very well. And we'll just go there. I've got numbers all over my desk. I have been playing. Having some fun today. Crafting away. probably use that again but we'll put it aside just for now so we can put this pumpkin together and this die cut I, I'm sorry I don't remember where I got it in fact I was surprised I had it but this die cut comes with these pieces this one just kind of goes here however you want to put it and then the stem so it's just got the three and then I make um, multiples of these and then just put them on either side you can build your pumpkin pretty much as big as you want that way so let's put those aside for a minute and build this little guy up. I do want to ink around. Make him look a little bit distressed. Actually, I kind of want... Um, I feel like I kind of want to use a spruce around here a little bit. Iced spruce, that's the one. And I'm going to go ahead and use my brown dauber to try to kind of get those colors mixed a little bit and give it like a little bit of a green tint. I think that would look nice. Hopefully the green will, will kind of shine through even if not totally obvious. So this is going to be, if, if you didn't catch my video back in September, this is going to be my gratitude journal for the month. And I'm making a card every every day for the month to write on. So this will sit on my dining room table. And every day I'll write something that I'm thankful for. And I have the box. I can put like recipes in it or other things that come across during the, the month that you know, little keepsakes or trinkets or samples or, you know, just things that I find along the way that I would like to remember. And I can put them in that box with my memories. And I just think it's a, a great way to store our memories and share them. Of course, it's not a journal. I'm not putting anything in there I don't want anybody to read. No secrets. <laughs> I mean, it's a gratitude journal. It's not a, not a spill my guts kind of journal, so. Even if somebody comes over and sees it sitting on my table, there won't be anything in there that they shouldn't be reading. So I think it's it's a cute little way just to keep track of night beautiful things throughout the month. So that will go there. See how that green kind of picks up out of, out of the background there. Now I think I'd like to add some kind of leaves or something in there. And I have... a stamp set. I think here, which one is it? What am I looking for? I have a stamp set that has, now I have this one, this pumpkin with these leaves, but I think I'm going to save that for another day. Um, is that on the cover? Where is, oh, I'm going to set that aside. Oh, it's right here in front of me. It's the same stamp set I just picked up. Okay, this one. So this is the same stamp set I used for the front, but this one has a, a leaf on it right here. And it has the die cut, so that makes it really easy. And it has these little frondy things, which I could cut as well. I'd like some of those on there too. So let's get the orange one out. The orange one, put that nearby. 
and let's cut some of those out of a let's see um i'm gonna stamp first the leaf because we'll just kind of tuck them in i think i'm gonna do that out of a dark green like um i don't know like a super dark green super dark super dark like this color i know you can't see it all across the room give me just a second I'm going to cut a strip off of this because I think that would go nicely. I think I'm going to keep this piece over near my desk because it will be, I'll be working with this one throughout the month, I'm sure. I love this color. This is like my favorite color in like the whole wide world. Yep, it is. I love green, but it's this kind of green. Not like Kelly green, not the one we see at St. Patrick's Day. This kind of green. Yeah. So anyway, um, I need to stamp on it before I cut it. Here I go again. I keep doing that and I keep um, cutting before I stamp. Now, I think I'm going to use, well, let's try a couple things. I want to see how this goes on here. I don't know if it's going to show very well. Can you guys see that? Kind of, but not really. That's not the color I want. See, I was thinking about this one, the, but I don't, well, it's probably what I'm going to end up using. So let's just do, actually, let's try to do that over the other one. Maybe I'll get both colors on there. It's beautiful, but I don't think I can really see the other uh, spruce underneath it. So we'll just do this color. I may actually have, I may actually have, see, I feel like that's too dark. But maybe that's not a bad thing. That'll probably make that pop from the back. I'm going to cut a bunch of these out, I think. Well, I'm going to stamp a bunch of them out. I'll cut a bunch of them out off screen. So you don't have to sit and watch me do this. But um, I'll just cut the three that I want for now. Oh, I forgot about the... Okay. I should have spread those apart a little bit more. I'll just use cut the ones that I'm using for this project right now. Okay, then I'll have some extras for later if I need them. Because I have a feeling I will. Yeah, see, I don't like that color over the other color because the oxide is coming up through it. It just looks really weird. So that's a no-go. But this will work this way. Whenever I do these... Um, with the die cut over the stamp, I do like to use my mint tape. It doesn't take much, but just to hold it down so it doesn't slip, because otherwise it's just wasted, pretty much. So let's line that up a bit. I never used to think I needed stamps and dies sets, but man, they're so much fun to have. And so nice because it makes it so easy. And then I don't have to fussy cut. Did that slide? It totally did. And that's why there's tape on it. Okay. Back through. That just makes it so easy. And then we'll pop that little guy out, the little curly Q. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I think that's right. around this as well. 
but I'm gonna get my pieces picked out first and then I'll cut and then I'll sew it. Come back and we'll put them all together. I'm gonna have to keep poking those out, my goodness. I would love to hear if you guys do gratitude journals and how you do them. Do you use a traditional journal? What do you do? Do you do this at all? Anything like it? Does your family have a tradition where you do something similar? Like the jar thing was really big that one year and I thought it was really fun. I really did. I had, I had fun with it. My jar was probably about half. I had a huge jar because I wanted to put all kinds of things in there, but um, yeah, it, I mean, it, there was no way I was going to be able to fill that jar. I don't know what I was thinking, but it was fun. I had a good time with it. I don't know about the kids. They didn't really care. <laughs> They're like, whatever, mom. I don't even know if they put anything. I think they did. I think that they did put a few things in, but not much, not much to speak of. They weren't helping me fill that jar very much. They weren't being very grateful that year. <laughs> they were teenagers, not that I expected much more. I think we get much more grateful as we get older and recognize, when we recognize those blessings and what blessings actually are. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go sew around this off screen. I'll be right back. We'll put it together and make it beautiful. Be right back. All right, we've got that sewn, you guys. I found, I remembered I had these numbers in uh, my scrap box. And look how big that is. I found, I found a one in there. I'm wondering if we like it or not. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on here for just a second and see, and again, I don't care if stuff sticks up. It can't stick out at the bottom because that's too, I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see that it's a one. I'm not sure how much I care as long as the one is on there, but I don't wanna just waste it by sticking it on there if it's totally buried. I don't think you can see it enough. I don't think so but I'm gonna remember those numbers for later. Now, that being said, then I don't have a one and I need to cut it out of paper. So we're gonna to have to cut it out of, let's go. I did the first, I did 24, oh, you know what? I wonder if I should put a 20 up here, 20, 24. Because otherwise, we're going to think that's the 20. I'm going to think that that's the 24th day, aren't I? But if I put a 20 up here, I'm just going to put other numbers just. Maybe I could put it right here. The 20, 20, 24. I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna fix this so it doesn't look like the 24th day because that's gonna be misleading. Well, not misleading, but confusing. I'll fix that later. Let's get the one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, got a little distracted there for a second. Um, the question is, do I wanna use the same brown paper? And that's, that's kind of what I was thinking about is using that same paper. I guess I'm gonna use the same paper at least for this particular day. I won't use the same color paper and numbers for every day. I won't do every day the same, I don't think. I mean, I won't know until I actually get there, but um, that's not the plan to use the same ones. I did that on my last project, so all the numbers were the same colors and fonts. But I don't feel the need to do that this time. I, don't, I didn't like the restriction of it because it made it hard sometimes. So I only need a one, but I'm gonna end up needing a two and a zero for that other one. So let me go ahead and at least pull those dies and we'll cut those at the same time and then I can just fix it. Um, so there we go. I'm gonna actually need a, t uh, well, I'll use it different. I was gonna say, I'm gonna need a two for tomorrow's video also, but I'll do that later. Maybe tomorrow, who knows, perhaps. Perhaps I'll use a different color or a different kind of two. I don't know. Because I do have different number sets too. So I don't have to 
gonna stick with just this one. I have bigger sets. I have sets with circles, I think. I, I mean, I've got some other numbers, so I need to go through my stash and figure out, figure it out. Okay, not right now, we're busy. We're busy, we're doing stuff. We're doing fun stuff right now. Lots and lots of fun stuff, okay. I'm gonna leave that two out so I don't forget. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. Well, let's move this out of the way. Move that out of the way so we have time to work. Some room. Okay, we'll put those aside for now. Three and four. I had those were I pulled out for different days. Um, so I didn't have to go look locate them again. Let's go ahead and put the 2024 on here. Just because I don't want to lose these pieces either. It's still early morning here, and Pedro is scratching at the glass. He's telling me, you need to feed me, you need to feed me. He does that in the mornings. I haven't fed, well, I did feed the cats. That's a start. Got to feed everybody else. I haven't even eaten, so it's not like I'm eating when they're not. Just haven't fed them yet. It's too early. Been up since the crack of morning. All right, so there's 2024. So that's our first, our front card. That's for the year. I love that. And then this one, um, I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna put the one right up here today. On my last project, I put them all at the bottom, but that was restrictive too. And up here at the top, we'll be able to see it better. Again, I'm not gonna restrict. I'm not gonna make rules on that. I think it's gonna be wherever. It fits best. I'm not gonna make rules on it this year, this time. I think that'll be good. And I think I'd like a little bit of, um, a little bit of dimension on this one. Put a little bit of tape on the back of this. Make it look a little more round. Doesn't have to be too much because if we put dimension on every little thing, there's no way it'll fit in that box by the end of the month. So we'll put some dimension. And this foam is this foam tape is really thin, so I'm just gonna double it up. And then I'm going to, I should have rounded that with my bone folder a little bit. So it wanted to fold a little more naturally. But we'll just use our fingers. And then I'm gonna put glue around the edges here and here. that down because it's not going to want to maybe it's just got a little bump just a little one see that so far so good and then I think I'm going to do the same here a little bit I'm just going to kind of fold these a little more leafy naturally and I'm going to put just a little bit of tape up of at the top here so this kind of is bumped up just a little bit I'm only going to do one layer on these I don't need these too too full I made some fall cards doing the same technique I don't know if I said that already but um, they turned out so cute by the time you see this video those recipients of course will have already received those so there's that one and then I may not need three. Three is always a better number though. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it. And I forgot to fold this one too. 
just work it a little bit. So it stays glued down at the bottom. And this one, I'm just kind of tuck here. And this one can go off the edge. A little tape on the back. Isn't that cute? I want to go ahead and put some of these little curly cues in there. This is where me using the tweezers would be really handy, but I just cannot seem to get the hang of it. I need those reverse tweezers, you know? Which ones I mean? Is that what they're called? Reverse tweezers? I don't know. They probably work a little easier. That's cute. That's even over the one. I like that. Oh my gosh, I like this cards already. I have a feeling I'm going to have a blast with this little challenge I'm giving myself. You're welcome to join in. Should we do a hashtag? Ooh, we should do a hashtag. I wonder. We should. What should our hashtag be? You guys are welcome to join me. Um, if you have suggestions for a hashtag, let me know below. But I think this is the end of my card for the day. I absolutely love how this, oh, I did not finish it. I did not finish it. You know why I didn't finish it? Because I didn't distress the edges. Huh, I can't be done. See, I should have done that before I put these leaves and things on but I didn't, so we're gonna have to be careful going around them because I do need these to look a little bit aged because that's the whole idea for me. I really love that look. And I want these to look like they've been kind of sitting around for years and loved. And my kids look at this, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, these are much older than 2024. They must be valuable. They've got mom's thoughts on them. Oh no. <laughs> they better behave. <laughs> I may think of a hashtag before I ever do get this done. But if I do, I'll let you know. Um, Scorch Timber. That's the color of my, of choosing that I have been using for this. I love it, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. I hope you'll consider making some too, and I hope that you'll at least be inspired. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Appreciate you as always. Love you much, and uh, enjoy the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.